break those bones, whose sinews gave it motion. Literally one of my all-time favorite sections, all-time favorite songs. This part of Mashuga is a really great example of them just being musical. You know, you take the parts of this song, you take that melody, you take that bass line, and you just realize that it's just music. It's literally like not metal, it's not progressive. It's literally just counterpoint music, and it's beautiful. I love this section. It's a great opportunity to kind of like expand on that harmony. So that's why I had to get Eric Quinn, go to his channel and subscribe to it. I had to get him on this. So, all right, let's talk about what's going on rhythmically here. So we got a Nightmare in 13 classic. Well, it's in 4-4, four, four, but our cycle is 13. <laughs> So we have a bigger cycle than we normally see here because we have 32 measures. So this cycle in 13, it's not eighth notes, it's not 16th notes, it's quarter notes. So how do we get to 128 with 13 as our seed cycle? I already done this math, come on, you guys know the drill here. We go 13 times nine, what does that get us? 117, oh, we're missing 11 beats. Where do you think we're gonna find those 11 beats? Obviously the beginning, there's five extra beats in the beginning of the form before the cycle starts, and six at the end after the last cycle of 13 ends. So there you go, 117 plus 11, what, come on, first grade, kindergarten even. All right, harmony, that's where I'm at with this. So this one, oh, so good. All right, let's talk about it. <laughs> What is that? That's melodic minor, right? And I'm just playing around the melody. See, what I like to do, my new thing that I'm into right now, is to play around a melody. Instead of like chord changes, play a melody and follow the harmony implied by that melody. So it's like if you're sticking to the melody, you can almost dive a little bit deeper into the potential harmony, right? Because there's not like a chord voicing in the background that's essentially limiting your options. So it's all about like isolating that top melody note and seeing what harmonically could make sense considering what note is coming next and also what note came before. So that's why I've got melodic minor, F melodic minor over a B flat. That bass line is basically a B flat tonality. Just like different enclosures around B flat. It's pulling you to B flat, but that melody is an F melodic minor. So we have like an inversion of a scale, right? So the bottom note of the scale is the fourth note, or sorry, the bottom note of the harmony is the fourth note of the key. The key is F melodic minor, but the bass note is B flat, a fourth up from F. So interesting, it's just, it's another kind of like exotic Meshuggah technique, right? Why not? Um, so that B flat informs all the top notes we're gonna play in that melody. So if we start with, Now I'm still in melodic minor, but I'm thinking kind of over the fifth of melodic minor because the root going down to the major seventh of the key, that's the third of the five chords. So that kind of gives me a tension release point. We talked about this. All right, so you can see already this harmony is gonna get heinously deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play over this. All right, I'm gonna play with Eric while he's playing that melody. I'm gonna stick to that melody. I'm gonna kind of um, embellish the melody around it. And then I'll play some choruses or some times through the form where I don't play with the melody and I can actually go a little bit deeper into potential harmony. But either way, we're following this harmony, right? This is not, uh, the, the key is to always stay close to the harmony. Don't go far away from it. So your creativity is informed by following kind of a, a form, you know? That's why it's not random, even though it might sound completely random, right? Who cares about that? It's more for me, like I can focus better, right? What is this even? What are we doing here? We're playing music. So just subscribe is what you should do, all right? And here we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow on this one for you. Good, subscribe.